Philadelphia Eagles rested and at home following their bye week, in comes the Cleveland Browns who are looking for a way to jumpstart an offense that just doesn't want to turn over. And nearly intercepted. Sean Watson just doesn't see him. Once again, Cleveland's O heads into another game having to learn from the mistakes. One for 13 on third down last week. Deshaun Watson, 15 to 28, just 125 yards, only 4.5 an attempt, a sub 80 rate, five straight games with a sub 90 rate, five straight where he couldn't manage even six yards per attempt, which isn't even average. He's averaged less than 180 passing yards per game, his yards per attempt lowest in the NFL for guys who qualify. Watson hit as he throws, he sails it to the sideline, and a big hit by Mikey Sainra still. Any eagle looking for a sack has come to the right place. Watson took seven more last week, has a game with six and eight taken two already. Pressure right in his face, Watson swarmed under his line got thrown back at him so Jameis Winston if the time isn't now it could be coming soon he's the guy Browns would turn to if they bail on Watson Winston will drop it off for four men and he breaks a run Philadelphia's pass rush six sacks four games pressure rate of 29 percent is okay their leader inside linebacker Zach Bond with two coming off blitzes teams have blitzed Watson at a high rate, so maybe Philadelphia dials up the heat. Carbine Chase, he sacked back at the 25-yard line, Jordan Davis. Brown's pass catchers, Amari Cooper, 60 yards versus Washington, led the team. Right there, twice to Amari Cooper, first and goal from the two. Cooper, four catches, 10 targets, he had to work. Jerry Judy, just 16 yards in that game. Elijah Moore, just 11. Tight end Jordan Aikens, 22. Tight end David Njoku returned, just 14 yards. Philadelphia's DBs have handled tight ends well. Sub-60 rate allowed to the position. But seven TDs allowed to wide receivers. Rate allowed near 100 to wideouts. Cornerback Darius Slay, two touchdowns allowed. Rating against over 125. Safety Chauncey Gardner-Johnson, four touchdowns allowed already. They feel looking left. Got him. Rowan left. Aslan, it's Evans. Touchdown, Tampa. Browns could load up on the run since they technically move the ball as well or better that way. Jerome Ford, 5.2 yards per carry, 47 yards versus Washington. Deontay Foreman, 44 yards, 4.9 per. There's a run for Foreman and he breaks out across midfield. More motivation to toke it up. Eagles have given up 5.1 to running back specifically this season. Irving right side, breaks a couple tackles, but the Irving still on his feet and he's inside the 10, it's first and goal. Speaking of run games, Brown's defense has to be able to play the run well. Saquon Barkley, the one consistent for the Eagles O face thus far, rushing yards per game on six per run. Here's Barkley with a big hole, getting to the edge. Saquon Barkley, one man to beat, knocked out of bounds inside the 10. He's got to be drooling after watching Cleveland's play versus Washington's rush attack. Austin Eckler broke a 50-yarder against him. Jeremy McNichols got away for a 28-yarder. They gave up over 200 rushing yards, three TDs on 6.3 a carry. Third and 11 run, McNichols into plus territory first down. Also gave up 7.5 yards per carry and 82 yards to QB Jaden Daniels. And now they get Jalen Hurts, who's averaged 40 rushing yards per game. It's the Eagles passing attack, though, that's held them back. Hurts hasn't started 2024 on fire, four TDs, four INTs, sub 90 rate through four. Picked off, Tyron Matthew, turnover machine. He really needs A.J. Brown back. Only one game played. He went for 119 yards in that one. Have to see if the time off allows him to make his return. Brown's got it. Here goes A.J. Brown. Blinding speed. Brown. Touchdown! Devontae Smith also missed their last game. He's been good for seven catches a game, almost 80 yards. End zone! Caught! Touchdown, Devontae Smith! Fourth leg of the Eagles' offensive table, tight end Dallas Goddard, 75 yards per game, six catches per contest. Second one, late blitz, Hurts has time, picked it up as a man open, it's Goddard who stays in bounds. If AJ and Smith are both present, they go after a Brown secondary that just gave up 112 yards to Terry McLaurin, let him go for a 66 yarder, 41 yarder to Deami Brown, 33 yard pass allowed to Eckler, 230 plus yards given up to Daniels, 9.5 yards per attempt. It's what can happen when your defense is on the field like all game. They'll throw over the pressure from Owusu Koromoa and Ed 
Eckler speeds out of there. Eagles O-line draws Miles Garrett this week. He recorded zero sacks, zero tackles on 50 snaps. He's banged up. Browns did at least manage three bags, though. A third down, pressure comes, and Daniels gets swarmed under. Darius Smith got there. Philadelphia has allowed 13 sacks already. Hertz has faced pressure 34% of the time. That's on the high side. Hertz. Oh, sacked. It's Vita Vea. How can you miss him? This game marks the 51st meeting between these two. Browns up 32, 17, and 1. Let's go back in the time machine. Bernie Kozar was in Cleveland, sexing it up with Color Me Bad. Threw three TDs in this game. Jim McMahon, much like Arnold that year, he was back. 1991, Jimmy Mack throws three TDs, 341 yards to lead a 32-30 comeback. And a masked man named McMahon turned in a McMasterpiece.